DBS community, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video, and today I'm going to be going over some of the better green decks uh, that you can play in the Rogue slot in set 12 and going onward. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, let me know what you guys think of these decks, and we'll get started here. The first deck we have on here is going to be Majin Fujita. Majin Fujita, since its release, has been one of the uh, more prolific aggro decks. It's a, uh, it's definitely a deck that, that uh, does involve a lot of setup. Um, in a sense, it does kind of require some of the same sort of setup that uh, a Red Broly does, um, but it also has the same sort of consistency. Um, a lot of it has to do with two particular cards, um, one being this Hatchet card here, which allows you to uh, pitch it from your hand to play out a Evil Wizard, which you can play this guy out, and then this guy searches out your, uh, your Quickening. And you can play this, and then as you take damage, you you load this bad boy up, then it allows you to play out your boo chain, and then you can go into your big boo. Um, so this is just kind of an idea of a deck. Um, but this, I've seen this deck kill turn two, turn three, um, and that's a pretty good, consistent aggro deck. Um, has all of the defensive options that a normal green deck would with Demigras and the Frieza combination, as well as the Dormant. Um, yeah, it's just a cool, just just a cool little deck. Um, not, nothing else uh, crazy going on here. Um, the next one is going to be the set ten starter deck Frieza, the Green Frieza. Uh, probably one of the only Frieza decks that a lot of people just did not invest into play, even in the store championship time. I know I played a lot of Green Frieza uh, when it was, you know, you know, in set ten. I actually played it in the store championship, and I, I'm a big fan of um this deck um the problem with this deck is that it does not have the ability to use saiyan cards so you cannot include any sort of saiyan cards in the deck and there's a lot of good green saiyan cards you just can't use any of them <laughs> so um this deck you you really focus on having a unison down and being able to use the frieza army healing pod with cards like um this dodoria here and as well as the zarbon card here to bring them back from the dead draw card and then they also have effects on the board where this card you can pop it this card you can also pop with your leader ability, and then you can give this guy a crit, uh, which is pretty good because then he becomes a 20k double strike crit, which is not a bad idea at all. Um, also, you run the Frieza Zarbon, um, the Frieza Zamasu combo, which is uh, still kind of an expensive combo. Um, you have the one Majin Buu, and then your finishers here. This is what makes the deck I, I feel much better, is because now you actually have a Secret Rare that you can play because you couldn't play the Great Ape Secret Rare because it, it is uh, uh, it's considered a Saiyan. So with this, you have the Majin Buu Janempa, or the Buu Janempa, and it is a counter counter. It's a pretty big boy. Um, so it's, 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 it does not count as a Saiyan, you can play this. And then you also have like cards like Fu the Dark Banish, where you can run six drop Fu. Uh, any of the Fu cards are pretty um, pretty, pretty good for the matchup. Now, uh, next deck is going to be Turles. Turles has seen um, a top two finish uh, so far in set 12, and I think one other top 16 placing. And green is in kind of a weird spot, as I said uh, in the main deck video. Uh, green's in a very strange spot, but green has a lot of tools that uh, can keep the deck consistent. Um, and now currently, a lot of people are playing the red green variants and they're using red leaders. But green by itself is still a pretty powerful color, and Turles does kind of embody that pure green, um, um, you know, advantage with using a card like, like the Tree of Might to flip your opponent's life, and then this card activates your Fruit of the Tree of Might which gives a Turles 20k and double strike. Um, so this is a very powerful combination. Uh, you just have a, you basically run the majority of the Turles Corp cards because a lot of these cards get, get to be played out for free um, after you combo with them. That's really cool. Um, and uh, also running something like Food the Dark Banisher. You can run the Majin Buu card in this deck. You can run the Grade 8 uh, SCR in this deck. Um, I think a lot of the times you're trying to kill them quickly so you you won't have time to play that card because it's not really a control sort of sort of deck but um yeah you can run any of those secret rares in this deck uh you can run the supreme kai also it's a very good combination as well and the last one is going to be um super saiyan goku or clash coup as we would say is his set one goku and this is one of the more interesting decks uh this is i did not make this deck i found this deck on the because i haven't played this leader in forever so i found uh one of the more popular decks, um, I believe one of the, I would we would consider him probably a pro player, uh, I think I believe this is his list here, but um, this deck here is pretty pretty solid. Um, the idea of the Clash Coup is you get a Krillin in the drop area, and when you're able to flip, um, 
your leader becomes a your leader basically becomes a double strike you know unit on his own uh it does have the ability it's a little bit better than the set 10 goku leader which uh that one you mill every time you attack this one you pitch a green card um and then you get the draw too so you get the pitch card from your hand which you can pitch basically any of your krillin cards um or you put them to the grave or the rebrands um and then you uh, draw two cards uh you have the master oshi which is a big part of this deck because you have the ability to pull back your dormants pull the ability to pull back your cells um you have the ability to pull back your big more which is a good defensive tool in the meta currently um there was also a version that ran um the um some four drop extra card uh, i forgot what it's called uh safe for a better future or something where you can play out a five drop green card from your drop area uh that's a cool archetype as well um this leader is probably one of the probably maybe the best out of the four uh, when it comes to consistency um but uh i mean this leader has been around forever <laughs> so uh it's not a not, it's not too bad of an option here so that's just what i have for you guys today thank you guys for watching um make sure you guys check in for the other decks uh, for the format and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.